I'm Ruth and a few months ago I bought this converted Toyota Hyace camper van to travel my home country of Scotland after living overseas for 12 years. Since 2017 I have worked for myself online and although I won't be living in this camper van full time I will be going on extended trips and I will need access to reliable internet when I'm travelling around. For my first van trip in Scotland, I bought a portable Wi-Fi device with an unlimited SIM card from the UK network Smarty. I also had data available through my Vodafone SIM card in my phone, which I could tether and share the data to my other devices as a backup option. Unfortunately, both of these solutions didn't work for me. I do like to go to quite remote and rural areas and unfortunately there's no network coverage in a lot of these places. The Smarty SIM card also didn't even have a signal in downtown Aberdeen, which is one of Scotland's eight cities, which is, is quite unbelievable. <laughs> Before heading off on my next van trip, I decided to purchase Starlink internet. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Starlink. I purchased it myself after doing extensive research. For those of you that haven't heard of Starlink internet, it's a type of satellite internet, so you don't need to rely on mobile network coverage. Elon Musk is behind SpaceX, the company who owns Starlink, and they send many satellites to space and you connect to the satellites and that's how you get internet. There are a few different types of Starlink packages, with two of the most common being residential, which you would use in the same location, or roam, which you can use when you move around to different locations. The great thing about the roam Starlink package is that you can use the internet in different countries within the same continent. So for example, if I went to France, Ireland, or Norway, I could bring my Starlink with me and use it there. I believe there is a limit though on how long you can go for, maybe it's something like three months, so just check that if you plan on using it in different countries. I placed my order for Starlink Link in July 2023 and although the website said 7 to 10 days for shipping, mine took 3 weeks to arrive. I paid £449 for the Starlink dish and router and for the Rome package it's £85 per month. For the residential package the router and the dish is the same price but the monthly fee is £75 and for both of those the internet is unlimited. With Starlink there's no monthly contract so if you don't need the Starlink internet that month you can pause the contract. I know some people might hear those prices and think they're very expensive, um, however I looked at it from a point of view of convenience. For example, I often have to upload or download huge amounts of video files and I'm also doing a lot of video calls. For this I need high speed internet and sometimes there's not much mobile network coverage or there's no public Wi-Fi available. There was a situation one time when I was trying to rely on campsite Wi-Fi but when the staff member left the campsite at 9pm the Wi-Fi was turned off so I couldn't complete the work that I needed to do. I then had to check into a hotel which was over £100 a night so that I could stay and I could use the Wi-Fi overnight to upload all my files. Also there's times when I'm in a location that I really like and I don't want to have to move and drive somewhere to be able to get signal or Wi-Fi. So for me, the cost of having Starlink really outweighs the hassle of that. I guess it's a bit like buying a washing machine instead of washing all your clothes by hand. I also plan to use the Starlink internet in my home. Even though the UK does have fast internet speeds, not everywhere has access to them. So where I live in the outskirts of a small village in rural Scotland, the Starlink speeds actually exceed the speeds that are available at my house. So inside the Starlink box, it comes with two cables. So this cable here will go into the router and then into the AC power. This cable here is for connecting the dish into the router. This is the router and then inside the box you have your instructions here. It's very well packaged and then in here is the stand for the dish and also the dish itself. The stand is really sturdy and that will go on the grass outside. The dish is bigger and bulkier and heavier than I did expect from seeing the pictures online. So for the satellite internet to work properly, you need a full view of the sky. So it can't have any trees surrounding it. So you need to plug it in like this and then put it into the stand. Here's the router and under the router you have the two holes there. So the satellite dish cable which comes in the window is going to insert here. Then the power cable which will connect to the AC will go in here. Like this. And then this needs to connect to an AC power source. So I'm going to plug this into my Bluetti portable battery. So I've 
replace the router just here and then I'm going to plug in the AC power now. So the dish is now plugged in and it can be controlled using the Starlink app. So the dish is set up behind me here and after I plugged it in it started moving around so that it could catch the best signal. I'm currently in a very rural location here on the west coast of Scotland so it's amazing that it looks like it's actually working. I'm going to now check the speeds that I'm getting, the upload and download speed that's possible in this location and share it with you. The app is really easy to use. If it's your first time setting it up you need to set the network name so it doesn't appear as Starlink, you can change it to whatever you like and then you also set the password and then you can join from all your devices to the network as you would with a regular home Wi-Fi network. So I've got my laptop open now and I am connected and I'm going to check what speeds I can get. I'm so excited to see the speeds. Okay, so download is 219.70 and upload is 13.81. So compared to my house Wi-Fi, the upload speed is six and the download I'm not sure, but it's definitely not as much as 219. So I'm extremely happy with those speeds. How do they compare to the speeds where you live? Let me know in the comments. Next, I'm going to check the power consumption of the Starlink. So as I mentioned, it's plugged into the AC power in my Bluetti portable battery. I guess if you live in a house, the power consumption won't matter as much if you're connected to the grid power. However, if you're in a van, um, you're always aware and conscious of the power you're using. So it'll be much more important to know this information. So as you can see, it's the AC power. We've got four to eight watts of solar coming in in the top left and 86 watts of AC power usage to power the Starlink. So that is quite a lot. The Bluetti battery I have is a 2048 watt hour battery. So I really can't afford to be leaving that Starlink on all the time. The battery will definitely drain, especially if there's no solar power coming in. So the ideal situation to use this Starlink internet would be when I'm getting some solar coming in and I use the Starlink and then it's sort of breaking even in terms of the power usage. If I had the Starlink on overnight with no power coming in, the battery would definitely quickly drain. If you already have a proper electricity system inside your van, like a 12 volt or 24 volt system, you might not need to worry so much about the consumption. However, because the Starlink does use AC power, you might have to have the inverter on at all times. I have seen some interesting videos on YouTube of people putting a separate inverter only for the Starlink. And I've also seen a video on YouTube where someone wires it with 12 volt DC. They do some interesting wiring, which is a bit beyond my capabilities, but something to look at if you're able to do that. The other day I was using the Starlink in the rain and it was absolutely fine and I was just wiping off the rain every so often but there was no impact on the speeds with the internet and then I heard as well when it snows that it can heat and it can melt the snow and um, so that's quite cool and so far with the wind it's it's been fine as well as you can see there are some holes there in the stand so you could pin it down with some tent bags if you wanted just to make it more secure. It's been quite windy here actually in Scotland the past few weeks but it's been fine and it hasn't blown over. So today it's been possible to set up the dish here on the grass but there's going to be times when that's not possible. So I want to be able to mount this dish on the roof of the van and I purchased the pivot mount from the Starlink website. It costs £57 and I plan to stick that onto the roof and I've come up with an idea to make it possible and when I come back from my trip I'm going to do that. I'm also going to purchase an extendable ladder so I can reach and then I'll just place the dish in there when I want to use the dish on the roof of the van. There is another package called Mobility for Starlink, but the prices are much more expensive for the dish and the router and also the monthly costs. So for me, this is the best solution. After it has been put into the stow position, it can easily fit back in the box like this. There's this piece of cardboard to stop the legs scratching or touching the dish. And then this goes on top here. And then you can also put the cables and router in as well. There's the instructions. As you can see, the box is quite bulky, especially since I have a small van. Maybe if you're in a bigger van, it wouldn't matter so much. But the next trip I go on, I plan to bring a special bag that I got with the pivot mount. It's a drawstring bag that you can store the Starlink in. So I'm going to use that next time and it will take up less space. I hope today's video was interesting for you to watch. And if anyone has any questions about the Starlink or my experiences with the Starlink, please feel free to leave them below. I'll be sharing lots more videos of my travels around Scotland in my camper van, Ernie. So so if you're interested to see that, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you next time. Bye.